outside of the sport of triathlon, what hobbies do you have? It gets pretty hot here. <laughs> I was going to expand on it with like coming out of the loo and stuff on the plane with it on, but then I also thought that they might be thinking I was plotting a terrorist attack, so. <laughs> so, Mary kill. Yeah. Yesterday's men's podium. I hit the big 10K on Instagram, which is major life achievement for me. It's all I've ever wanted. Headspace open for advertising, <coughs> Red Bull. And <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> From experience, it's, it's a good thing to have kind of a catchphrase, um, otherwise people will never know who you are. Um, that's why people know who I am, and that why I'm kind of a... What's, your, what's a yours? Big, uh, you should know that. Hello, hello. So here uh, we are in beautiful, hot and humid homestead. Or hot and humid homestead. Uh, with a new segment of DB Talks. This is going to be Debrief with Daniel. The day after the T100 uh, in uh, Homestead, Miami. And uh, we're here with the first live audience um, watching this, uh, this segment. <laughs> so here I am with the most beautiful girl in triathlon. I'm going to interview ye <laughs> yesterday's uh, winner of the women's race in Delhi. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Thrilled to be here. I am uh, very happy you would take out uh, five minutes of your insanely busy schedule uh, to do this. Um, that's not normal that people actually want to do segments with me. So <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, so I bet a lot of stuff have happened since uh, since yesterday's race. Um, first of all, um, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. A lot has happened. Um, I hit the big 10k on Instagram, which is major life achievement for me. It's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> I finally feel like I can legitimise my athletic career because I've got the, the 10k on the Insta. Um, I had about three hours sleep and two beers, so feeling good. Ah, perfect. Also, rumour on the street has it that um, you are both single and now rich as fuck because you won yesterday. Um, <laughs> So, uh, did your DMs blow up last night? The DMs have blown up, but um, I haven't filtered through them yet, so, you know, oh, you just, you're just, uh... <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, so, what's up with the headgear, I wondered, because um, I realized, or I saw on, on socials question. that uh, you have a strange hobby of, uh, of um, taking the plane with your uh, <laughs> with your helmet on, did yeah. you also wear the condom underneath, or uh, did you uh, just go raw? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, the thing with the helmet on the plane was, um, it was just pure lols, to be honest my helmet with me mark said let's do this joke and we just we did it we i was going to expand on it with like coming out of the loo and stuff on the plane with it on but then i also thought that they might be thinking i was plotting a terrorist attack so <laughs> <laughs> i put a stop to that because i wanted to get into the country to to come and race <laughs> And then yesterday you also won a new piece of equipment, uh, yep. also headgear. Yeah. So how are you going to bring that back to uh, the UK? They're sending it off to a world famous NASCAR driver, who I, I'm yet to hear of them. And um, <laughs> It's the world's biggest sport, the, the most wide sport in the world there must be. It is, and um, so I can't wait to have his signature on it. And. <laughs> <laughs> Pop, pop that on a shelf on my wall. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Head, head, headspace open for advertising. <coughs> Red Bull. And <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> um, so, 
doing a bit more uh, very serious questions now. Um, oh, yeah. So we're not gonna get derailed too much. Um, I, I, before before we oh. do that, actually. Uh, <laughs> just, just a quick one, though. Yeah. So so you are single. Yes. And very desperate. <laughs> um. What? Who's the best looking guy in triathlon? Oh, oh so we actually... Ah. Ah. Then you have low... So you're desperate and low standards. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be picky. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have I have a recommendation for you. Uh, okay. Lose the headgear. Yeah, no, it's absolutely fair, Daniel. But I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> the, problem, the problem I've got is I've got a really small head. And I'm also trying to keep cool in races. So every time I put a hat on, it looks naff. I had that thing on my head yesterday because I was trying to stay cool. It looks naff because I've got a pin head. I just don't know what to do with myself. Yeah, I have the opposite uh, problem. My head is too big. So uh, oh. no matter what I wear, I look like a, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so um, speaking of nothing, um, what's your spirit animal? Um, yeah, I'm not sure what my spirit animal would be. What, my dog? Oh yeah, my dog is my spirit animal. Yeah. Golden Retriever? No. Oh. <laughs> She's a cockapoo. Oh, I actually have a cockapoo. Yeah, you do? Well, yeah. That's a nice yeah. dog. It's a brilliant dog. She's the best thing on earth. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I know you've done a lot of races in uh, the ITU circuit. You raced a lot, probably also some Fran, French Grand Prix racing? Yeah, I did two of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Bundesliga? No, Bundesliga. Okay. No. But you've seen a lot of the world, I guess. I've seen plenty of the world, Daniel. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> do you have any bucket list races left to race? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to race in Kona. I went there, but I didn't race. I'd like to race it. Have you done an Ironman? Yeah. Whoa. 8.31. Keep up, boys. <laughs> a lot of the boys yesterday, me included, wouldn't even be on pace for 8.31 with uh, <laughs> the paces we were going through, so that's pretty impressive. We touched on it briefly with uh, who you think look, looks good in the uh, in the sport of triathlon, yeah. but in, in general, um, your celebrity crush would be... Uh, Celebrity crush. Oh, Danny Rappenhaus. Yeah. So a guy who is a, <laughs> an actual celebrity. <laughs> um. You must have you must have had like a, a crush growing up. Yeah. When I well when I was growing up, I was obsessed with Robbie Williams. <laughs> that's a bit embarrassing. Robbie Williams. Robbie Williams. Not that's Robin. Funny. Robin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The singer. That's that's not embarrassing. Angel, isn't it? Yeah, and also, a actually, he's one of my favorite uh, artists in terms of uh, like live performance. Yeah, I think he's an entertainer. Isn't he? Exactly, yeah. natural born yeah. entertainer. <laughs> Good. So, um, if you need it. I can I can tell you from um, from experience it's it's a good thing to have kind of a catchphrase. Um, otherwise, people will never know who you are. Um, that's why people know who I am, and that why I'm kind of a. What's your what's a yours? Big, uh, You should know that. Yeah, I should. What is it? <laughs> You're struggling. Uh, oh. Keep calm, strike hard. <laughs> Catchy. So, very catchy. So, if you needed one, keep calm. What would it be? Um, Don't look at my face. Um, uh, sorry about the hat. <laughs> keep calm. <Yeah>. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Fair. So, outside outside of the sport of travel, what hobbies do you have? It gets pretty hot here. <laughs> My hobbies include walking my dog, mm -hmm. a good cup of coffee. It's like it's like writing my dating bio, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, walking my dog, um, a nice cup of coffee, and spending time with friends. Ah, cool. A simple gal. Very simple, but also uh, have your values in place. Mm. Yeah. You Hot see girl. that, guys? <laughs> she knows what she wants. 
<laughs> a family man. <laughs> we must be able to find somebody out there who's a family man. You love spending time in bed as well. <laughs> we have input. We have input from the audience. Uh, India also loves spending time in the bed. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that there. We'll leave that there. Fair. Um, Can I ask you a question? That would be refreshing. Okay. <laughs> um, so, how long have you been doing triathlon? Um, uh, eight, ten years, I think. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah. Have you used the um, these stickers quite a lot? The race number stickers. No. Have you not? No. No. Or you can tell because you're like struggling to take them off, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. But, but that's because when when I then go to it, uh, I know, when I then I go know to Starbucks, you, yeah, you want people to know you raced. Uh, no, actually not. But it's very it's pretty cool to say uh, when they ask for your name. Yeah. Then you say number seven. <laughs> like James Bond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I this actually um, that's true. In Danish, you would say. Uh, Jeg tager afstand fra mig selv. The Danish audience would know. Um, it's not cool. It's not cool to do that. Walk around with your yeah. race numbers afterwards. But um, at least you can see my Ironman tattoo. So that's a, that's a good thing. Um, do you have any further questions? I thought you were going to ask if I had any tattoos, but no, I don't. No. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Not yet. I've heard other ones. <laughs> um, so uh, a short round of uh, this or that. Um, no, I this get in is, trouble with stuff like that. Nah, but it's Mitch did the questions. Uh, I have okay. nothing to do with this. So um, phone in the bathroom or no phone in the bathroom? No phone in the bathroom. Because otherwise you'll be stuck here too. Or what? Um, it's just a bit gross. Bathroom, some bathroom things. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, humid or dry? Humid. We saw that yesterday. Uh, knees or corner? Tricky. Um, I haven't raced in Kona yet, so I'm going to say knees because I like racing in knees. You've raced in knees before? There's some to put through. Oh, nice. Um, bad breath or body or dry? Uh, bad breath. Because we are <laughs> no, no. Because we are athletes, so we have tend to have quite bad body odor in general. Or? Well, you know, like yeah, maybe. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, ITU or PTO? PTO. How come? Um, it's just ITU. There's um, too much politics in here. And but I guess, let's not get serious. Okay, fair, yeah, because that's not something we're going to expand on with this. No. no. Um, passenger or driver? Driver. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Solid. Uh, biking or running? Biking. Yeah. Foresee the future or change the past? Foresee the future. And then the last one, um, probably also the easiest in, the, in the many athletes, case um, Jack Kelly or Mark Matthews? Oh, Mark Matthews. <laughs> yeah. So, Mary fuck kill. Yeah. Yesterday's men's podium. Uh, Magnus. Yeah. Magnus Didlev, Sam Long, or Mathis Mapier. <laughs> um, Mary Magnus, because he's just like he seems like a real gentleman. Lovely. Um, without wanting to offend, um, <laughs> um, kill Sam. <laughs> I just, I just think our, uh, um, I just think we're different. You don't have to justify it. We're just different. And then, um, a little time in bed with 
Matthias. Speaking of your, uh, I don't know if, it lo if, if it's lo love lang language or what, it's going to be a long time in there with <laughs> <laughs> What can I say? Love some bedtime. Recovery is key. Yeah. <laughs> Core exercises as well. So, uh, <laughs> everybody, let's uh, first of all, uh, let's all hit uh, India's DMs. Um, second of all, give her a follow. She's a class act, not only on race course, uh, but also as a human being. Thanks for, uh, for tuning in on, uh, on this new T100 concept. Not sponsored by anybody. Um, thanks, Love India. It was, uh, thanks for having me. I hope it's not the last time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> tune in. Uh, are you going to Singapore? Yeah. So uh, tune in and watch the Singapore race where you can uh, find India um, and all the other lovely girls. Um, other than that, see you. Keep calm, strike hard. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>